The eclipse that occurs on July 11th uh, is a total solar eclipse, and it takes place in the South Pacific. The path of the moon shadow starts about a thousand miles north of New Zealand, sweeps across the Pacific Ocean, and it ends at sunset in Tierra del Fuego in Chile in Argentina. Totality will last up to about five minutes and 20 seconds if you're at the right spot. One of the most unique things about this particular eclipse is that it crosses a very interesting archaeological site, Easter Island. And uh, on Easter Island, there are these great statues that were erected 1,000, 1,500 years ago. A lot of mystery about these statues. But in any case, this is the first total eclipse that's hit the island um, in about 1,400 years. So during a total solar eclipse, the moon cr comes between the sun and the earth and it casts a shadow on the earth. And for those people that happen to be in that, that small area where the shadow is, they're going to experience what we call a total solar eclipse. And basically, the moon exactly blocks out the solar disk, which is a good thing for those of us that study the outer atmosphere because in blocking out the very, very bright solar disk, we are then able to view the outer atmosphere called the corona which is much less bright. It's about a million times less bright than the disk. So the, the solar eclipse um, provides a rare opportunity to view the outer atmosphere. And the moon just happens to be at the exact perfect distance away from the Earth that it completely blocks out just the disk of the sun.